I need a carriage. Is this one free? Sir, they want a bribe from me. Help. Look, Private. This one's even got a book. The brass will be happy. Tell these two about their rights. You have none. By virtue of the decree on the martial law, you have been classified as suspicious characters. We will escort you to the Citadel. Unless some sort of a gift convinces us you are innocent. So this is what soldiers of the Russian Empire look like. A bunch of pathetic bribe takers with no honor and no sense of duty. Suit yourself, magician. We'll see just how much honor you have when you end up in the Citadel. Let's get him. Doesn't have to be in one piece. idea what you did to them, but today I will drive you for free. We just have to be careful. Some of the districts are cut off by the authorities. Still, today's rides are on me.
I knew that if you were alive, you would show up. If not death, then what stood in your way? A certain bearded friend of mine has kicked up a storm in the city. The town has gone crazy. I saw people furious at thaumaturges. I never thought it was so easy to get pitchforks and torches in Warsaw. Skawan seized the opportunity, and he's bringing in a new order. That's why we waited so long. Without you... Warsaw is no longer a city for thaumaturges. What were you doing for those three days? I was wondering how we could leave Warsaw in case you never came back. I had a few wounded to treat, and I prayed that the next one wouldn't be you. What are we waiting for? I thought our fourth companion had already met up with you and would be waiting here. I said I would be here, so I am. I had to go get some aspirin. Perhaps you'd consider acupuncture? I don't like needles. My father was a tailor. Let's get on with this book club. I hope you're ready and sorted everything out during those three days. Once we make the pact, there will be no going back. It seems we are ready. Even though we have different motivations, I trust that the pact is our destiny. Follow my lead. I, Emir Bernakovich Falje, worshipper of Allah, yearning for the free Republic of Poland, declare willingness to form the pact and make the ultimate sacrifice for its cause. I, Sara Rivkin, follower of Moses, am willing to form our pact, hoping it will grant me freedom. I, Ariel Rofe, circumcised atheist, have a debt of honor to pay, and I will pay it off or die. Victor. My name is Victor Shulski. What are your motivations for joining our pact? I'm a Thaumaturge. It wasn't my choice. But when someone seeks our blood, they should be met with the proper response. I'm not going to beg anyone for mercy. Never again. For that, I am willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. L'chaim! Is that it? According to Stanislav's hypothesis, in order to conclude forming a pact, we need to read the instructions from the Black Grimoire together. Victor, focus on each of our dimensions now, and we'll help you read whatever Stanislav hid in the book. Focus on your heart first. My heart reveals the first inscription before me. From now on, we have one heart that beats with one rhythm. I felt a sort of relief. Son of a whore! I know that golden tale. Very impressive. Now, the other dimensions. Word, I can't read this inscription. But I can, somehow. 
From now on, we speak with one voice as if we were one. Easy. Is that how you acquire the power to read in a foreign language? Continue. The inscription of deed. This one is resisting. Let me act. From now on, all of our deeds are devoted to one common cause. I feel a tingling in my fingers. Stay focused, wizard. Mind. This inscription evades me. It won't let me grasp it. From now on, our mind will keep no secrets from itself. That's easy. I've just been flooded with thoughts and... It's as if I've known you all my life. A little scary, isn't it? But we'll get back to that. That's all. So... it's done? Do you still not get it? I know what your favorite color is. Thank you, Victor. I didn't think I would get to experience something like that. I felt a kind of thought, a feeling. Yours. You didn't say you'd known my mother so well. Yeah, I didn't ask for those kind of details. I wonder if Victor's father knew. Let's focus on the present. Do we know what to do? Other than what has already been said, do you feel anything else? My headache is gone. Ariel, I'm sorry for your loss. Likewise. And you? When were you gonna tell us the Okhrana chief was dead? Since we have no more secrets, let's move on to the plan. I think we're all thinking the same thing. The Tsarevich will have an unforgettable birthday. Yes, this is our last chance at an audience with the Tsar before he leaves the city. But we can't go in empty-handed. We need arguments that will push the Tsar to make the right decision. Either he stops the violence or we will die. Any mistake will unavoidably lead us to the gallows. If only we could get through to the Tsar's supporters at the party and... Unnoticed by the regiment of his army... We'd be able to get inside the Tsar's noggin. Let's do it. Oh, you're actually pleasant to look at now. These... these people won't break in here, will they? Just smile and check the invitations, Parmishka. Are your grimoires well hidden? Then we just need to get through the gate. Suggestions? Please, I'm counting on you. What are you waiting for? Don't worry. Pickle is on it! Did you hear that? That's our cue! Liat, stay here. Ladies first? But you can't!
Who are you staring at? Countess Lermontova. You know her from the soiree. Her family has been close with the Romanovs for years. So she must know a lot. I will talk to her, but I'm afraid she'll recognize me and call the guards. You want me to do it, I reckon. Let's go talk to her now. Wait. Don't go charging in like a raging bull. You'll get us in trouble. I'll distract her, and you scan her surroundings. We'll meet here when you're done. Was your chat with the Countess? Better tell me what you have found. Wait, wait, don't say it. Just focus on it. Are you afraid the old lady will take everything from you and your sister to build a new palace for herself? I'm sorry, I can't resist it, but I can sympathize. I can feel how important it is for you. The Countess pitched me a lovely story about how the confiscated goods would be used to help the needy. We both know she's lying, and her decree is already on the Tsar's desk, ready to be signed. I like these new abilities more and more. And now try to read what I think about it. You want to get back at her? I never thought revenge was in your nature. I'm thinking we might try to make the Countess tell everyone what she thinks out loud. So, I'll take care of everything. Thank you for trying to help me. I really appreciate it. I might not have been born into a fortune like you, but I know what real loneliness is. And now that we've formed the pact, I finally have somewhere I belong. And I won't have anyone mess with my people. Fine, let's do it. Watch and listen carefully. <laughs> There is one more thing I would like to ask you. I feel confused about the plan to confiscate properties. Could you explain how it's really going to work and to whose advantage? But of course. As soon as the Tsar puts his signature on it, the Lermonts will take over the Taumaturge's properties for a contribution to the fight against those parasites. Mother, keep it down. Don't be ashamed, son. You did agree to this. It would be a pity if that money was wasted. And this way, we can build you a beautiful mansion so that you can finally move out. But what good would the money do to the poor? They would just throw it away. Mother, we should go now. Madame, please excuse us. A familiar face. Good evening. Are you trying to cook up another scandal? The last time I saw you, you were accompanied by two gentlemen. What happened to them? I needed some space. Sergei, why the hostility? Let's see. Because you humiliated me. Because you ruined my chance to get happily married. Sofia has traveled across the ocean just to stay away from me. Sergei, 
We both know that Sofia never treated you seriously. She led you on for her own enjoyment and to spite her father. But she couldn't fool a thaumaturge. You opened my eyes to the fact that she never loved me, for which I will be eternally grateful. Nevertheless, I need to ask, what are you actually doing here? I'm here with my friends. Are they taumaturges as well? Why do you ask? I believe you should listen to me. Yes? What did you want to share with me? I was recently elected to the city council. I've also been attending audiences with Tsar Nikolai. Things that are now being discussed at the top are making me worry. What are you specifically worried about? The Council has prepared a series of anti-taumaturges decrees. They only need to be signed by the Tsar. In the decrees, Skawon advocates for such ideas as exile or creating adjustment clinics. Shall I go on? I'd like to know some specifics. For example, those clinics. That's the most ruthless part. Do you know what a lobotomy looks like? That's how these places are meant to socially adjust taumaturges. But you didn't hear it from me, all right? I didn't expect to find an ally in you. Likewise. Please, be careful. Thank you, Sergei. That's enough. What are you going to do? I'm going to get through to the one who can help me with that. Have a good evening. I didn't think I would see you again. And yet, here you are. I might say the same about you. I thought you wouldn't be in the mood for a party. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, death for death. Why are you here, really? What are you trying to do? That's none of your business. Leave me alone, or I'll call the guards. They'll be happy to see a wanted fugitive. This isn't over. Am I sent? Vanda? I told you to leave me alone. I know you have a gun and you want to kill Skawan. I was going to start with Konyechkin, but that coward got rubbed out by some random Genef. So it's Skawan's turn now. I'll kill him and anyone who gets in my way. That's madness. Even if you manage to do it, you'll die a moment later. I don't have many reasons to live. Yannick needs you. He barely made it out alive from the Citadel. You can't leave him now. Ugh. You'll have your revenge. I swear. But now go home and let me act.
I can see you've picked the spot right in the thick of things. Are you having a good time? Not too bad. I just had a chat with a certain young lady in waiting. But we'll get back to that. I bet parties like this are nothing new for you. I hate it here. Parties like this are the threshold of hell. In fact, my sister says I turned savage while in exile. What about the lady in waiting? She told me that the Tsar is in one of the chambers on the upper floor. The stairs are guarded by Skawan soldiers, and the Governor General himself is keeping an eye on the entire hall. We must make him look away. I'll try to approach Skawan somehow. Be careful. Is there anything else? Vanda is here. I was afraid she might show up. Have you talked to her? Yes. And I know she's planning to kill Skawan in revenge. She will die. Worse yet, she'll ruin everything we've worked toward. I took care of her. Apart from her hurt pride and ruined plans for the evening, she's safe and sound. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. I've heard some news about certain decrees waiting to be signed on the Tsar's desk. What's in them? I managed to have a few words with a certain young man from the city council. He told me about an idea to introduce places that in a nutshell would make us thaumaturges lose our minds, and thereby our powers. What exactly are you talking about? A lobotomy. At least that's what it sounds like. I've learned that one of the ideas to combat thaumaturges will be the forfeiture of our properties. How do you feel about it as an heir to a fortune? Of course I consider it simple misappropriation. I hope you would feel the same were you born into poverty. There's something else that bothers me. Tell me. I'll try to help. I'll come back later. Good luck. And... I'll come back later. Good luck. Good evening. Who are you? I've got a feeling I've seen you before. I'm waiting for an important appointment, the kind that can change one's life. You don't say. Have you got a cigarette? Sadly, no. That's too bad. Anything else I can help you with? I can still hear gunshots from the city. As a concerned subject, can I ask if we're safe here? I understand, and I tell you the same thing I'm telling others. The situation is under control. My best men are keeping you safe. Not even a mouse could squeeze by. What about thaumaturges? 
What if any of them managed to sneak in? If they did, I would know about it. I can only tell you that this problem will soon be solved. Meaning? Thaumaturges are dangerous. Riots, explosions, that Rasputin character scout terrorists are completely decay of authority. Their plotting affects everyone, even those dear to us. Do you think that bearded cultist, Rasputin, is a thaumaturge too? Most likely. How else would he deceive so many people? Even Tsarina Alexandra looks kindly upon him. Luckily, he was killed by a bomb in a brothel. Don't forget the cholera epidemics that keep plaguing the town. Is the thaumaturge is doing too? I see we understand each other. I heard one of those magicians escaped from the citadel. Was it Shulsky? Yes, but soon enough we'll see him dangling from a rope. Thank you. I feel better now. My mission is to protect the Tsar's subjects. Has the Thaumaturge ever hurt anyone close to you? Their magic hurt my daughter, but not only her. Let's leave it. I see. Let's change the subject. Good idea. How do you find His Royal Highness's birthday party? As the one in charge of Warsaw, I have my duties regarding the royal couple, so I am not paying much attention to the banquet. You must excuse me. The pile of presents for the Tsarevich looks impressive and continues to grow. Yes, indeed. Let's change the subject. Good idea. How is Miss Sofia doing? Is she in good health? I don't have a daughter, and I suggest you watch your mouth. Let's change the subject. Good idea. I won't take any more of your time. Enjoy yourself. And? I talked to the Governor General. So? How does it feel to come face to face with the Butcher of Warsaw and exchange pleasantries about refreshments? Up close, it doesn't seem so scary. Right. Have you learned anything that might help? The Governor carries the floor, and I want to take advantage of it. Are you going to rid him of it? Surely it may affect his well-being. And I hope we can get rid of him that way. Wait. Before we start, you should make sure we're ready to talk to the Tsar. There will be no turning back. You're right. I should have prepared better. I'll come back later. Good luck. And... Georgi Skawon. What about him? Let's go see Skawon. Are you sure you know everything you need to convince the Tsar? I believe I've gotten everything I could. Fine. Skawon's flaw. It might work. Just promise me one thing. You'll be extremely cautious with him. I know what I'm doing. I was the one who found the Black Grimoire. I was the one who started the pact. 
And it won't be my first time seizing a flaw. Hopefully not the last either. Shall we? We wanted to talk to you, my friends and I. Where am I? Governor General? Welcome to inside your head, Skawon. We've got you now. Wait a second, something's wrong. Shouldn't he be unconscious? Unless he has his own powers, his conscious state could be an effect of the Pact. Sarah Rifkin, and you! What's going on here? Who are you? Has anyone seen the bootlegger? He walks his own path. He'll get here. My name is Viktor Shulski. Shulski. I will have you executed on the spot, all of you! So, shall we get down to it? Go on. I can't wait. What does it feel like to be at the mercy of thaumaturges? Terrifying. What is this? You've just found out that we're not capable of lying in this place. Intriguing, isn't it? What am I hearing? You want to experiment on us, deprive us of powers and reason. May Allah have mercy on you. I'll deal with him. I'll show the Butcher his place. Of course. Your worst nightmare is coming true. A thaumaturge will remind you of what true fear means. You're scared of her, even though she's been dead for many years. She repaid you for the way you oppressed her because she had powers and you didn't. What happened to you? She sent that demon after me. My own sister. She brought down nightmares upon me. I held my bed for years. That's why your fear turned into anger and anger into hate. You pathetic creature. That's enough. You're enjoying this too much. I've waited a long time for this. Don't interrupt me. We didn't come here for revenge. And this. Let's talk about your daughter. Here you cannot deny it. The apple of my eye, heard by a third. And you, you were supposed to protect her, to heal her, but you're cursed as well. Your home, the place you don't miss. Why is that? Because I was never safe there. What were you afraid of? That she would hurt me again on a whim. Who? Say it out loud. My cursed demonic sister, may she burn in hell. I don't want to. I don't want to talk anymore. The floor is ready. Remove it, and we can go. Remove it? You want to give him relief? He doesn't deserve peace. Besides, he's seen our faces. Samira is right. This story won't end this way. Victor... Sara... Let me show you something. Watch carefully. No, I don't. Leave me alone. Leave me. Go deeper, deeper. Leave me! I expected more... mercy from you. Let's go. Ariel had better show up. Gentlemen, your general has pissed himself.
I can see you've been busy. Did I just hear words of gratitude and appreciation? I think you misheard me. Shall we? I'll stay here in case reinforcements arrive. It won't take long. And thank you, Ariel. Stop! Who are you? Skawon! You need a new Governor General. This one won't do anymore. Don't come any closer! Better put it down before anyone gets hurt. You don't need anger and fear now. Be calm and lower your weapon. It won't do any good here. Can you do that now? Through the pact? So it seems. What is going on? How? How is that possible? You must be Thaumaturges. Is that a revolution? Are you here to kill me? Will you let me speak? Be my guest. Your Majesty, we came here because our lives are in jeopardy. The most crucial thing for us is that you stop hunting thaumaturges. The pogroms must end. Tell me why would I agree to anything? We stand before your majesty not as some motley crew, but as a group of thaumaturges united by a pact. We've done the impossible to get here today. And from that position, we seek to start a dialogue. We believe it will bring mutual benefits. Do you have a name for it? You can call us the Coterie. Go on. Who knows, we might reach an agreement after all. We know there are some decrees on the Tsar's desk, awaiting your signature. And what do you think is in them? We know the decrees stipulate creating special adjustment clinics, and thaumaturges won't be the only patients there. Your subjects, so diverse in terms of ethnicity and religion, will surely recognize the threat, and their fear will turn into hatred. The Empire will fall. The Crown has enough enemies outside without having to deal with internal ones. Still not enough to convince me, Taumaturgi. The Coterie could become a powerful ally of your Imperial Majesty, here, in Warsaw. What we have presented so far testifies in our favor. We have no trouble learning the secrets of people's hearts and minds. And we are willing to share them. I've heard enough. I understand you want something in exchange. Let me hear it. We want justice for the wrongdoing we suffer in the streets, and for the blood we are forced to spill to survive. We want more freedom in the political and social domain for everyone. The people of Warsaw, one of the most important municipalities in Russia, will remember your gesture. Is that all? Make the Ochrana forget about Sararivkin and let her files disappear from their archives forever. You want power. Just admit it already. The sooner you admit it, the better. Power can be won or bestowed. Today, you did both. We will meet your demands and expect allegiance and loyalty in the return. So help me God. I heard a shot. Is everyone all right? Another Talmaturk. You're late. We've settled it on our own. Do I hear applause? What's going on there? Your monk is showing up and he got a standing ovation. Is that a problem?
Grigori Rasputin chose this night to win your favor and warm his way into the court. Rasputin is dead. On the contrary, he's also extremely dangerous. And he knows about the Tsarevich's illness. Time's running out and my guests are waiting. Let's keep it short. Is that it? Can I finally get some champagne? And get rid of this damn tailcoat! Stanislav can finally rest in peace, son. You should be proud. We all owe you a lot. We couldn't fail. After all, I was here with you. You're too generous, sir. Friends, today on the birthday of my son and successor, my father's words show the direction of my thoughts. The voice of God orders us courageously to undertake, in deference to divine intention, the task of ruling, with faith in the strength and rightness of autocratic power. The riots in Warsaw fill our hearts with much sadness, and the nation's grief is also the grief of the Emperor of Russia. We have closed our eyes to the suffering of our people, to the suffering of Taumaturgi, who were granted their powers by God. Which is why I consider it our moral duty to stop all kinds of violence against them, effective immediately. That is our wish. However, May those who take my grace for weakness know that the Russian Empire is strong and ruthless against its enemies. So help me God. Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. Despite being exiled from Petersburg, you've come back. You've mingled with my guests to get close to my only son. You will leave him alone immediately. Novedon spas nashevo sina! With his trickery, he has beguiled the Tsarina, too. Any last words before I have you arrested? Wasn't making your own dream come true enough for you, Cain? You had to ruin mine. How treacherous of you. How petty-minded. Do you want to know what enticed me to do that? If you're kind enough. Now I surround myself with people I can trust, as opposed to you. Farewell, Grigori. This is the end of the road for you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not over until... I say so. Victor, is everything all right? Is this that Rasputin of yours? I expected something more. Assalamu alaikum. Would you tell me how you are able to talk with us here? This must be your new daddy, Victor. Aren't you going to introduce me? And this must be the famous Madame Samira, the identity thief. Wait, I think someone is missing. I don't think you're very important to him. Is he bothering you? Indeed, and I could use some help. Get out! This is between you and me. And your magician friends can't help you. There's no winning against me. You should have learned that by now.
dare he throw us out? Did you explain it all to him? Is everything all right? I think so. I must admit, he is remarkable. Grigory Yefimovich, I'm asking you one more time. Any last words? 
Today, you have lost your empire. My visions will come true. But when you realize that, it will be too late. Take this madman out, and then find Skawon. Everything's going to hell but the snow. I can't get anywhere on time. And the glass is constantly fog up when you come into a warm room. And what the hell do you wear them for? After the explosion, I'm having problems with my eyesight. Now that you wear them, you really are the spitting image of Stanislav. Some tea to warm up? Wait, before you begin, me first. I had a new rumor a propos Skaon. We did such a number on him, he ended up in Tvorki. They say there's no way to get through to him. Well, well. Did you do this to him? I didn't think you had it in you. I have the nagging thought that we dealt with him too brutally. He didn't have doubts like that. I bring news. It's rather grim. A bunch of youngsters want to arrange foreskin checks for poles. Some news. They also want to get rid of thaumaturges and homosexuals. What about the Tatars? We can ask them. They sit around in a bar in Vola. Who are they exactly? How should I know? I didn't ask. But I'd rather have them stay where they are. Let's go. Let's listen to what they have to say at these drinking bouts of theirs. Is today that special day when you're not preoccupied with your little revolutionary? Maybe yes, maybe no. They won't protect you. Every debt will be repaid, one way or another. Victor, what are you waiting for? Doesn't matter. Let's go. They say your choices define your value. What does that make me? The Upper took me on a journey that made me realize how my difficult relationship with my father looked from his point of view and how I should look at it in hindsight. I try to see Nigia often, but the sight of my sister in apathy breaks my heart. Without a flaw, she has become someone else. Someone I don't know. That is why I latch onto duties concerning the coterie. At least here, I can change something for the better. Uncle Sasha has become a grandfather. He seems to enjoy spending his retirement pampering his grandchild. The true circumstances of the Warsaw Okhrana chief's disappearance remain unclear. But the streets know who rubbed the fucker out. Niedzic, the new king of Śródmieście. The bastard has put down roots at some undisclosed garden in Warsaw, while I rule Śródmieście with my shivs. Now and forever. The situation in the city is tense. Warsaw has been divided between those seeking a bloody revolution and those who'd rather see cooler heads prevail. The stalemate will not last long. As for the flying university, the idea faded and died in the Ochrana cells where the rebellious students were locked up. The weary traveler made it to his longed-for Albuquerque. How do I know? That's a completely different story. But enough about that. It's time for a new adventure, my friend. <laughs>